this mission means for the next generation, Mike? Well, I think it's pretty cool. You have the oldest uh, person in space now and, and the youngest person. We just saw that happen today. Uh, I, I think uh, it's very hopeful. I'm a professor at Columbia, and uh, my students are very excited about space travel. You know, I got excited uh, by the moon missions back in the late 60s and early 70s when I was really little, and that inspired me. And I think the students today, the young people that are interested in, in participating in space travel, they have a lot more options than Peggy Leland and I did. Uh, yeah. They have the opportunity to not only work for a government program, but also to to maybe work at one of these other companies or experience space, as, as Leland and Peggy have said, in, in different ways. So there's a lot of options open to them, and I think it's just going to keep growing. So for young people, I think this must be a very exciting time. I know it is for my students. They, uh, they're very excited about this, and with good reason. I think it's going to really bode well in the future, what we saw today.